So let's first jump right into, say, some of the key commands. Um, there's some key features that we need to look at that we haven't quite set up yet. So I'm going to go up under Logic Pro to Preferences and drop down into Key Commands. The quick key to, to getting into Key Commands is Option K. So the Key Command, open up the Key Commands window is Option K. That's kind of funny. Um, let's set up our Zoom settings first. So the first key command let's set up are our navigation tools and our zoom settings. So we can do some zoom recalls. So what I'm going to first do is type in zoom up there in my window. And here we will find recall zoom 1, 2, and 3 and save zoom 1, 2, and 3. So in order to create a key command, you select what you want to do. And this is really the easiest. You hit the learn key by label. So now the next set of keystrokes I hit are going to be what is going to set up for this recall. So I'm going to do uh, 6, 7, and 8, F6, F7, and F8 for zoom recall 1, 2, and 3. So zoom recall 1 will be F6. I'll go down and select zoom 2. That'll be F7. And this will be F8. I'm going to do save zoom setting as Shift F6, Shift F7, and Shift F8. Now this will allow us to uh, zoom in and actually save these zoom settings, which we'll look at in just a minute. Uh, one other thing we need to do is let's look at, let's type in nav for navigation. Zoom to fit selection vertically and horizontally and save this as a snapshot. What I'm actually going to do is change that to zoom fit to locators. So I'm going to select this one. Zoom fit to locators, and I'm going to hit the letter Z. Now it's going to give me this message. Zoom fit selection vertically, horizontally, stored navigation snapshot. So what this is letting me know is that this has already been set up as a different key command. Do you want to replace it? I do. So that's kind of cool that Logic knows that you're trying to do two things at the same time, so we won't let you do that. You need to pick one or the other. So I've picked that, and that's a good way to go. Another thing we need to do is if we look up under regions, you'll see set locators by regions. Remember, our locators are, are what uh, our cycle records are up at the top. It's basically uh, set down here on our transport. So what I can do with this command, I'm just going to grab a pencil tool and drop in a little object. With this selected, right now if I turn on my, my, my loop, so my backslash is my key command for loops, and C is my metronome. That's what I was looking for just now. So I have this up. Now if I have this region selected, if I go up under region, and I do set locators by regions, it basically will force my locators to wrap around based on that region, which is a really handy feature once we start getting going and editing things. 